pile there, but a uh, fella come out and he got a, a truckload of um, ends there that was cut up and he cleaned up some more of those slabs there too. So that was good. So this is how far we got the other day on this. So we have to go up one more row. So another 12 inches high, wrap another row of boards around there, purlings, whatever you want to call it, strapping, purlings. And then we're going to put our roof trusses up there. We're going to start building those. And then we're going to straighten this mill up. So this mill on this end sits further away from the building than the, than the far end. So we're going to straighten this up. We're going to bring this over, take the far end out a little bit. One of the reasons we cleaned this up, I wasn't worried about fire, is because we're not going to have no fires this time of the year, believe me. You probably couldn't light a fire out here even if you tried. What we want to do is put a couple, we want to put our posts in about here. We want to run a po row of posts down there so we can run a roof up over the uh, sawmill. Now the reason I cleaned out behind here, I'll show you. So I can take the ATV now, or the snowmill in the winter, I can bring it in through here load our logs there, mill them, and then I can just drive the snowmobile or the ATV. I can come right out around here, and I can head right through there and around the building and come out. So that's why we did this. So um, yeah, I'll show you how close we are to this ravine. Now I pushed this, these old sticks and stuff out here and I put dirt on them. They're going to rot down in no time at all being buried like this. And if they don't, it doesn't bother us. So that's the ravine right there. That's another ravine that starts down there. So there's a ravine there. There was one right behind the house, another ravine. And then there's a ravine on behind that shed way over there. So that's how many ravines we're at. And these ravines are pretty deep here. So, um, yeah, you can see, I think, if I stand here, you can see how the angle, <laughs> so, oh, it's hard to see on a camera because it's a mono lens, that's why it's hard to see. We have two eyeballs so we can see depth and we can judge distance apart. But I think with one eyeball, it's pretty tough and you're looking through one lens, so that's why it's so hard. But anyways, the far end of the mill is that, is, is a, a three feet or more away from the building. So what I'm probably going to do is move that far end of the mill over like I was saying and bring this one out and we're going to put it on some good timbers and then uh, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six posts. So the mill I can cut a 30 foot log easy on it. So now I'll never haul 30 foot logs out on the bike or the snowmobile, we know that. But what I'm going to do when this is built, now there's going to be posts and I'm going to have some boards on here slatted. It's not going to be totally closed in so the exhaust fumes can get out. I'm going to have a door there that I can open, a fairly wide door that'll slide, and a fairly wide door that'll open that you can slide to get in and out when we're bringing our, our logs in. Um, there's going to be a doorway here on this end of the building right here. <clears throat> there will be a doorway right about here. So Heather can bring the slabs out here, put them on a trailer out here once we get the setup right. There's going to be a doorway right there going into that big pole building so we can carry the lumber in there if we want to. And at the end, if we want to do a long log in here, we're going to build a door that opens at the end of the mill. And then we're going to bring the logs in. Maybe I'll build a, build a, like a crane that runs out there on a steel I-beam. And we'll just pick up the log that way and then just roll it in. So that's what, uh, you know, that's what my aim is for there later on down the road. Not right away. On the far side, like I said too, way over there, we're going to go out another 22, 23 feet on the other side. We're going to put posts in. There'll be a roof over that. So the far side is going to be insulated. The big part for now will not be insulated. This here won't be insulated either. So it's going to be a fairly large building when it's done. But we have got this far on this in the last day or so. So um, it's been raining lots here too though. So I mean, but that's, but that's all, all strapped up there with the purlings, whatever you want to call them. And uh, this is all, you know, we started clearing this up in here. So that, those slabs, we don't burn those like I said before. It's, I don't, I don't even want to mess around with those. It's not my idea of firewood, old slabs. It's not, not something I want to do. Um, we ended up working on this too today, a friend of mine and I. We worked on a snowman here. <clears throat> We're getting it look pretty good. We found a good hood for it that we had around. 
we did the complete steering in it so it's all lubed up greased up ready to go the engine's back in it we changed the bushing on the uh driven clutch not the drive on the engine but the driven clutch we replaced that and uh, we've done a bit of work so I, I want this to be really nice when he takes it so he has zero problems with it i want it to be a really good snowmobile so we got that cab on there that's a nice one it's a safari rally cab and what was on it with this old ugly Scandic two hood there, and and the and the the scoop used to clip on there, and with the same those little rubber rubber elastic looking things there that held the windshield on, held the scoop on. But this one here is molded right along, right on. Now this hood has really two vents. Don't count the one in the center because that's the scoop, but it has two vents, one on either side where most of these ones only had a vent on either side and I like it to get a little more air so I like the ones that have the vents on both sides of the hood so uh, coming along, coming along, next we'll change the skis on the front out, we'll put a good set of skis, I have a really nice skis for them uh, we're going to polish the windshield up, put it on there, we're going to change the gauges um, and the headlight, we're going to take the headlight maybe out of this one, we're going to polish that we're going to use these gauges in that cab and uh, now that is a super that's a 503 R stands for reverse has the reverse gear in this super long track but we took the 503 out of it actually I didn't the fellow I got it from put a 377 in there and that's what's still in it so now once once I get this building built um, this winter I may be doing a fair bit of work in there this kind of stuff but but um, it won't be heated and, and you know I can tinker around in the cold I don't mind that but I really want a place to store my stuff I will work off to the side in the building and I build right off to the side that side will be insulated this won't be insulated it'll be storage that side over the on there will be for the mill in the back I may run a lean to off because this is 32 feet long and then I'll have another 20 some feet over there I'll go out maybe out the back maybe I don't know 12 feet run a roof down off there some year and I can store all my snowmobiles in there and then my ATVs riding more stuff like that clean it up and this here in here will be for my dozer um dozer tractor stuff like that you know and uh whatever else I want to store in there like uh you know generators and I may put my solar panels on the outside of this building as well so that's what's uh that's my plan now will it get done this year absolutely not will it get done next year it probably won't be done next year either next year as soon as this so we're going to work on this as much as we can this winter we want to get our posts set in here get those posts set in there get them braced up and uh, we can work on this strapping all year all this winter and start building our trusses and put up here and then next year is as soon as the snow goes once it thaws out I want to, we want to start building a deck around the house and doing the roof on that. So that's what we're up to today. So anyways, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of footage where we're cleaning out behind the mill here, with out behind the building in the mill with the tractor. You folks take care and we'll talk to you all tomorrow, folks. Bye-bye.